Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So we're going to keep working with this drop down list. Now I, uh, I realized that we can pretty much use button for everything. So we don't need a rectangle shape. Uh, we're just going to use a GUI button active uh, element. Okay. Now um yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it also we're going to actually uh create the constructor and destructor because i'm dumb a drop down a list constructor drop down a list destructor uh, like that and we're going to define those functions now for using buttons here, uh, we're gonna have to create some some uh, more functions in the button class for ourselves, so we can actually create this drop-down list. Because uh, in a drop-down list, you're gonna want to set a button's text to a different text when you choose a text from another button, and so on and so on. You also want to get the text back. So uh, those two things we're gonna need to to uh, define in here in in the button class. Uh, but first of all. <clears throat> I'm going to go into GUI.CPP and I'm going to go ahead in here and look at these. So what do I need? I need a font, uh, a uh, font, font, and I'm going to initialize the font here. Font is font. Okay. And then, yeah, we got the active element and all that stuff. We're going to define those as well as we go along but first of all I'm just gonna do delete this active element and then do a for each loop or you just go through everything for um, auto pointer I this uh, list delete I pretty sure we can do that uh, like this so we're just gonna go ahead and do a point of reference there so we're just going to delete every single or I think I can just do a little reference there delete I yeah so we're just going to go ahead and delete each one of those elements from the drop down list and also this is SF font font there we go um, yeah pretty sure we can do this hmm Pretty sure we can you we could use a point of reference just to be sure I'm not 100% sure but let's just do that point of reference and then we'll delete it um, okay we got to copy this as well into the constructor and there we go so we're first of all we're just gonna do the font and make sure we delete those and then we need to go in a button and just define these functions like I said so we got accessors um, and then we need a const std string and then we need to get the text back string get text const and then we need we're gonna need a function accessors modifiers um, void set text const std string text so we're going to need to set these two. First of all, I'm going to define get text and then I'm going to define set text. Uh, if it just it's a little quicker than this, I don't know why it's being so sluggish today. So weird. Uh, anyway, we're here and we have our button accessors here. Get text is pressed. I'm just going to put that under accessors. And then I'm going to create a modifiers comment here and just put that right under there. So there we go. Um, so let's say return this, this text dot get string. Cool. Okay. We can get the string. Is that a const SF reference? Okay, cool. So we're just going to get that get string we can actually do a reference here then um, pretty sure we could 
because that is const get text just do a little reference here uh, for get text and that should work um, let's see GUI button get text okay I think that's because of the const here like this let's just close that let's see if that works better yeah that worked better okay cool get string mm -hmm. for some reason that worked better I don't know why I'm not 100% sure it should be a const I've got to try this just one more time I think it's gonna complain but no it didn't complain now I don't, I don't know why it's just so sluggish dude I don't like the sluggishness I'm gonna have to fix this I think it's because it's running off my external drive uh, but yeah I'll get that fixed anyway we'll get the string and we'll return it and to set the text we're gonna say this uh, text dot set string uh, text like that and uh, there you go so we can just set the string now it takes a const sf string sf string so it's gonna have to convert that hmm what if we just do sf sf string here and, you know we'll just do std string and then do text in there okay cool doesn't really matter whatever uh, so now we can do those two things and list we got the list the active element now when we create the if we go down here la 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 uh, let's go down drop down list so we create it we're going to create it with a font obviously um, and then we're going to create the active element okay which is just going to be the first button so this active element equals a new button and I think I'm just gonna copy paste a button from main menu state pretty much let's just take any button let's take the first one right here just copy paste that go into GUI CPP and just do that um, okay And that is a button pointer we're gonna have to make a new button okay this list dot pushback first we're gonna add it to the list so we're just gonna do a little dot pushback action here and do that so when we push it back we we'll probably want to do this just so we know what is going on and add one more indent there so now we know what's going on so we're pushing back a new GUI button and with these these stats or whatever you want to call it um, so that's that and this is gonna be the text on it a new game and whatnot and obviously when we create the drop-down list we need a font a list of elements and the default index for which of which one of these lists is going to be the first kind of uh, selected one okay so I'm just gonna do the font then I'm gonna do a std string uh, or a vector of strings actually um, or could I just do a sorry about that um, hmm std string pointer something like that std string str uh, list I'll just call it list of the names um, and then we're gonna need hmm so we got the list okay we'll calculate how many elements are in the list uh, on our own and then we're gonna need the default index so unconst 
unsigned default index. There we go. And don't need const here. In the constructor and stuff, you don't really need const. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, default index. So I'm just going to copy all of these into the drop down list. So what this is going to let me do is basically create a little list and then do that. Okay. Um, then I'm going to make a unsigned number of elements equals size of s size of list divided by size of std string. So that will give me how many elements are in this list, which should be which should be fine. Um, but if you want, you could do a unsigned number of elements here. Actually, you know, to be safe, we'll do that. I'll just comment that out and we'll actually get in the number of elements because it's a little safer also because from outside we'll know how many uh, there are. And that means the default index will probably, the programmer should know that it's, it's not less, uh, you know, or more than this or less than zero. And we could, you, if you want, you can set the default index to zero right there, just so that if you don't want to give it a default index, it will default to zero. And we'll keep this as a comment because we can try that if you want. Uh, then we got to do a for loop. Um, and we're going to go through number of elements like this. And we're making a slow for loop. Doesn't really matter. It's a regular one. And we're going to push back a bunch of buttons. And it's going to be list at position i as the name. And we're going to push back a bunch of buttons. And then this active element equals new button as a copy as a copy of this list at default index okay so pretty much pretty much pretty much and we're just going to do dereference that so we're going to create a new button as the active element and we should be able to see that and here are a lot of buttons and shit. We don't really need to do much here. I would like to change this up uh, with the sizes and stuff. And the positions should be 50. Uh, that's the Y position. So pretty much. Oh, we got to do the drop down list position as well here. So it's going to be the position and this is going to go. Um, the Y is going to change. So since it's going to be a list, they're going to be below each other as a list. Uh, but pretty much this is the constructor for now. In the next video, we're going to keep working with this and probably get something rendered to the screen. Uh, this is all the time we have for this video. Uh, but I hope you're learning. I hope you're getting at what we're going to do. And if you want, you can keep working on this on your own. Just keep working on it until the next video. Uh, tomorrow should be released. And yeah, best of luck. Keep working hard. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.